Hello there. Today I'm going to tell you about the things that I just saw an ant. I'm going to tell you about the things <coughs> that annoy me <coughs> about having dentures. Okay. None of these are worth not getting dentures. <coughs> They're just annoying. You know, there's things about everything that's annoying sometimes. So, just crooked. I don't know. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's me. Anyway, first thing that annoys me is I can't bite my nails. I bit my nails for 40 years probably. Now I can't do it. I mean, that's good. Biting your nails is a nasty habit. But when you've done something for 40 years, it's different. I did see an ant. That's not good. When you do something for 40 years, it's hard to change it. So, can't bite my nails. Which also means I can't bite my nails. I've always been like a, a fidgety kind of a picker. You know, when I have a scab or something on my arm as a kid, <laughs> never there. I was always ripping those things off. But now I catch myself, like, just kind of, now my nails are longer. I'll be, like, flick into the corner of my nails. And now, and now by my cuticles, surprisingly, I don't have a really good example right now. But I think my fingers look worse now. <clears throat> Because I'll just sit there and just, like, pick dead skin. And then, of course, dead skin, it peels off, comes live skin. And then if you keep going, it's super live skin. <clears throat> then your fingers hurt. It's really annoying. But I still do it. I don't like doing it. But I'm just, you know, my thumbs are the worst, usually. Because I can just sit there. This, even right now, there's a piece of skin that's annoying me. I gotta get my clippers out. I mean, I don't always have fingernail clippers with me, especially upstairs. You know, I got some right here. But then I'm not even talented enough. I'll do it and I'll dig in too much. And then it makes it worse. So, anyway. Another weird thing I do, and I can't do now. Okay. These knuckles. Here, you know, here, here. When I was in high school, junior year, sophomore year, I decided to ship myself off to boarding school, sort of. Went to a Christian school in Texas for a while because I was an absolute troublemaker. Stayed with my grandparents. But the school had little, everybody was in little cubicles. We all had our own cubicle. That's where you spent all day. You know, you had someone next to you. But odds are, I didn't like them. They didn't like me. There's only a couple people I liked. Unfortunately, I bonded with one of them. We became good friends and we were troublemakers and... They didn't like us because we smoked, drank. But that's the way it went. Anyway, I sit in my cubicle all day, right? And it was work at your own pace stuff. So, like you take a test and the answers are at the back of the book. And all you got to do is fill it out. It was very easy to cheat. Not that I cheated <clears throat> all the time. Sometimes I did. But I'd sit there, you know, reading or whatever. When I wasn't biting my nails, all these little knuckles, I would like pull the hair out with my teeth. Totally strange. I don't know anybody else in the world that ever does it. So I've done that for 30 years. I can't do that now because right here. These do not, they're not flush together. 
there's a tiny, just enough of a gap where, you know, I can't do it. I also can't chew the skin off my fingers. It may be, last time I did a soft relight on myself, it's not perfect. But this tooth here, is longer. I don't know, they're all out of whack. They're probably not as good as I think they are. <clears throat> but you know if they're functional, until you actually stare at them, you don't notice any problems with them. So therefore, I can't chew my nails, can't chew the little cuticles off, can't like do this. It's like a nervous habit. Do it a lot while I'm driving. Another problem, annoyance with dentures, is if you're using adhesive, that's just an annoyance altogether. I'm not using adhesive, but I'm always wondering, oh crap, should I do another soft reline? You know, I just did one, well, it's been a while actually, and I got news on that. Um, should I do another soft reline? They feel loose, they feel like these, they hurt, right? In the back. Nothing major. Just an annoyance. You know. And then the thing of. Oh I'm going to go. Not that this has happened yet. Sometime it will. I'm going to go on a roller coaster. I'm going to go snorkeling. I'm going to go. Do something. Athletic. Should I glue these in. Alright. We went to Vegas. Back in February, we did the zip line down Fremont Street. I didn't glue them in. If I, I don't know why. I probably, if I would have thought about it, I would have. Because I think I was yelling. I know I was yelling at people. I would hate to be hanging because we were doing like the Superman way. So we were like, Psh. I could just imagine yelling or screaming and some wind coming in and Psh. landed on some guy's fancy drink. But I didn't do it. But I think if I did a roller coaster, I would. Snorkeling, I probably would. Because at least if it fell on Fremont Street or something, they're probably going to break. But they may not. And I might be able to find them. They fall out snorkeling. Oh, well. That's the way it goes. <sighs> what else is there? A big one I've noticed recently... See, now I'm picking at my fingers since I started thinking about it. That's not good. My mom used to give me this, or put this, it was like fingernail polish, but it wasn't polish, it was stuff that tasted bad to get me to quit biting my nails. And all you really had to... Weird noises out there. The aliens are coming. All you really had to do was like wash your hands off twice. And the stuff would come off and you didn't taste it anymore. Probably. I mean, I can't bite my nails now so I don't need it. But I need to do something. I'm screwing them up. Anyway, another one. The big one recently is like, you know, 7 or 8 o'clock at night. Sitting at home. We're watching TV. Watching the YouTubes. Whatever. And the girlfriend will whip out a bag of like goldfish or popcorn, chips. You know, you're watching TV at night, you're bored, kind of hungry because it's been a couple of hours, so you snack. I usually take my teeth out by like seven. And so I'll notice she's got it. And I'm not going to go put my teeth in. So therefore, I'm not having any snacks. It's hard to believe that by looking at me. But I don't eat them. A lot of times, it's just annoying. I'm like, oh, I can't have a snack with her. So I try to plan my snacking around my teeth instead of just spontaneously snacking. I mean, usually they're... 
they're not far. They're not, I don't soak them in like staying away or anything every night so I can just grab them and throw them in. But you know, I gotta get up, go to the bathroom, find them. We're gonna find them, get them out of the drawer, blah, blah, blah. And honestly, I don't need the food. But those are just some of the things. I know there's more. Just the fact of having dentures is an annoyance. But none of these things are that bad. They're annoyances. So I deal with them. One day, yeah, I like to have some snap-ins or whatever they call Velcro. Not Velcro. Velcro would be a horrible idea. But. Sounds like there's someone pushing a lawnmower in my front yard. The lawnmower is literally four inches away from me right now. Maybe if someone got a new lawnmower. Someone's mowing my lawn. Anyway, as far as adhesive goes, you can reline it. So, I know I need to do a new reline. But, I'm going to wait. Because I got a little message from cushion grip they're gonna send me a sample well not a sample but they're gonna send me a full a full tube so i can review it try it do it on youtube blah 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 i know there's a lot of other people that vlog about dentures and stuff that have done it so this isn't like a wow special no it's just i think they do it for everybody but hopefully they send me a message this morning hopefully i'll get it in the next week or so so i can do that so then i could try cushion grip then there's another one i forgot what it's called you know what it is sir because you mention it all the time and i really i want to try it i just haven't done it permasoft i don't remember it's in my comments and i will try it but i'm gonna try this first because it's free so, all right, guys. What are your annoyances? What's bugging you? What bugs you about having dentures other than the fact you have dentures? I want to know because maybe I know I'm not alone on all those except for the one where I do that. No one else does that. That's me. I'm weird. So, let me know what, what annoys you. You know, um, subscribe, comment, thumbs up, thumbs down. Leave a hateful comment. Leave a loving comment. Don't matter. <sighs> Join my Patreon. You can, but that, I don't care. Alright guys, later.